Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, and in this video, we're going to be doing some web scraping. Um, we're going to be using Beautiful Soup, uh, and we're going to use the LMX, um, uh, sorry, LXML parser to go through that um, information from the web page. Uh, and we're also going to use Requests Library. Okay, so this is the page that we're going to scrape. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to pull the sunrise time and I want to get the sunset time for my home heating control system that I'm I'm currently building as part of a playlist. Um, this video will be in uh, my Python free playlist um, and if you've not seen my home heating security control then check it out uh, and I'll put a link up at the top right hand corner of the video uh, approximately here um, but basically um, I want to get that information for the reason being I currently have on my my security control system where the lights will trigger and be on if there's movement outside after four o'clock in the afternoon um, and they will stop triggering the lights at seven o'clock in the morning the next day. Now it currently is um, dark nights uh, in the United Kingdom um, so I want to actually change the times. Um, I don't need to web scrape every day because it's not going to change by much. Um, I could check every week or every two weeks or so but basically I want to scrape uh, that information and use that as part of my code. Um, so I will do a video where I implement it into my home heating control system, but this is going to be a straightforward um, web scraping video just to pull um, these two times here. Um, but it gives you an idea on web scraping. I may do another video on web scraping um, at a future date, um, but for now, uh, this is an introductory, I guess. Right, so, first things first, let us check if you have uh, the libraries installed. Now, you shouldn't have any problem uh, importing requests because it is part of your Python installation. Um, but uh, we're going to use Beautiful Soup. So, from BS4, import Beautiful Soup and if you get an error there that means you haven't got it installed um, so if you have that error then how to install it is very simple uh, open a terminal window and enter pip free because we're using python free install beautiful soup 4 Woo. <laughs> um, so don't put any capitalization on there, um, just all lowercase with a 4 on the end. And it should say that I'm up to date because I didn't get an error. So there we go. And we're also going to use that LXML parser. So let us pip free install LXML. And I should have already, already have, have it installed because I've, uh, I've already checked. Um, but there we go, I'm up to date, I'm good to go. And it won't take long to actually install if you don't have them already. So let's close that window. Um, right, so let us open here a new file and we'll save this and we'll just put this onto the desktop for now. And we'll call this Sun scraper because we're going to be scraping the sunset and the sunrise times interesting <laughs> right so let us import our libraries so from bs4 import beautiful uh, make sure you put the uh, the capital on the b and on the s4 soup and then we want to import requests and 
what I want now is the URL that we're going to be working on. Now I did a search, if I click back in the Chromium um, search bar for Sunset and Sunrise Wakefield because I live in Wakefield um, in the United Kingdom. Um, but you could do it for wherever you are or you could search for whatever you wish for. But I'm going to use this uh, for this video as an example. Um, and if I go to the area on the page, it doesn't matter particularly where I do it, but if I right click and then I get an inspect element on here uh, and there is a shortcut that you can use and I believe on other pages if you do I think it's F12 or if you press these digits up uh, three dots um, but I'm just going to do the right click and then click on inspect and your screen will split uh, and then you get a load of information um, regarding the HTML page um, that you're working on. Now if you click this icon here this will select an element and inspect it. And now it's turned blue. I can now go to whichever part and the, you'll notice that the code changes over here. So if I go to these times here and if I click on that now over here we are working with this if I click that drop down we are working with this um, p tag uh, using the class dn dash mob uh, so these are the times that I want to pull okay so that is what we're going to be looking for uh, so if I click on the web page uh, URL and then click it again you'll get the full link to the page and then if I click it three times you get to highlight it all right click and copy because uh, we're going to use that now so we're going to put that into our code and this will be our URL variable uh, is equal to and then in quotes cop, uh, control V uh, to paste it in and then press enter there we go we've got our URL set into the code um, and now we're going to call our um, we're going to use our requests to actually get uh, and use that URL to pull the information um, and we'll call this um, this gives back as a response so we'll call this response uh, is equal to request dot get and then pass in as an uh, our URL that we've just um, put in there um, and now we're going to use the beautiful soup to actually work with uh, the information that we get there um, but first let's just check uh, that we don't get anything strange so if I do a print response and if we run this and let's see if we get any errors now we've got a response 200 which is good uh, that means that the code's working and the website is up and running. Uh, so if I just go back to the code, let's make it full screen. Um, and now we can get rid of that print because we don't need to use that. We know it's working. So let us create our soup object to actually um, work with beautiful soup. So we'll call our variable soup is equal to beautiful uh, with capital on the B and the S for beautiful soup and then in here we're going to pass in um, the response now we actually we don't want to work with the the 200 so we need to actually work with uh, the actual content of the web page so as I as you can see on screen uh, when I press the dot uh, this box has popped up um, and if yours doesn't uh, pop up if I backspace and if I press dot then tab it will pop that uh, box up for you straight away now we can get the headers if we wanted to look at certain parts of it um, but we can even get the text um, but we can work with the content so we'll, you don't have to click it but you could write it out or whichever um, so I'm going to work with that and then if I put a comma 
and then we're going to work with that L um, this is in quotes L X M L to actually pass um, through the response dot content and what we'll do is um, we'll just print out the soup first of all so we'll get to see what it's looking like uh, and it should be a lot of HTML code double click that uh, yes we do want to expand it so we can view it now it looks a bit bit of a jumbled mess <laughs> Um, but when we did that inspect element, we know where we want to look for. We want to look in a p tag, um, and we want to look for the um, class dn um, mob. So let's uh, let's do that in the code. So let's get rid of the the print part, and what we'll do is we'll we'll call this. Uh, well, we know we're working with the times, so we'll call times variable is equal to um, soup dot find, uh, and we're looking for a a p tag, and in there we were looking for the class, um, and notice how it's gone orange because this is a an important word uh, in Python because uh, it's changed color, so we need to actually put an underscore in there and then equals uh, and in a string uh, in quotes we want to put in dn dash m o b just like we saw when we inspected that element so now if we print out the times and run it now you can see that we've got our p class um, down here uh, with the dn mob and we've got these times here this is what we actually want and um, we've also got the the actual daylight time as well from the website so we don't really want that um, so what we can do is if I just get that out of the way we can get the text part which is the uh, the part in between the um, inside the um, p tag so if I put dot text there then we should get um, the information that we want um, but as you can see here it's joined these bits together so this is the daylight hours uh, and this is the sunset time and this is the sunre sorry sunrise time um, for today so what we want to do is we want to work with this uh, so now we've got it into this state uh, with the uh, times.text let's work with uh, the actual elements of the actual um, what we've got so we want to pull this part here now what we can do is we can call for up to a certain amount of characters out of this um, length of string uh, not length of string, this string <laughs> so we want the f um, zero because it starts with a zero one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve so we want to pull all that information so now if I put in here in square brackets a colon and then 13 because it will go up to 13 it won't do the actual 13th um, character and there we go we've got what we want so now uh, we can use that um, and let's put times is equal to times.text so there we go we've got our new times so we're, we're going through our code um, to make it workable and what we want to do now is if I just go back to the output so this is the sunrise time so we want 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so we need to go up to 5 on that and then we also want the last 5 
we could go in this direction but we might as well just go from the back end uh, to the rest of it because we've uh, we've already set it out so sun rise variable we can call as times um, and then in square brackets um, up to five and then the sun set is equal to times and then in uh, square brackets minus five to the end uh, using the colon and now if I print a simple line saying um, the sun rise was at and then put in a placeholder and we'll set at and then do a dot format and then we're going to put in our uh, sunrise time and then we'll do our sun set time and then close that off and now if I run this we should have that one piece of text saying the sunrise uh, was at um, 3 minutes past 8 this morning and will set at 15.48 um, so there we go we've pulled the information that we wanted to get from this website albeit it was quite a, a straightforward really easy um, script to do um, but this is uh, something I want to implement into my home heating security control well you could call it my home assistant I guess um, but uh, there is other home assistants out there um, so I don't want to call it that really I just basically call it home um, this will all be on my github uh, not necessarily just this bit of code but to do my home heating control system uh, will be on my github uh, in the next week um, yeah so that's it for a, a quick introduction to web scraping and uh, I'll put a link into the description uh, into this video um, so you can actually go to where I implement it into my um, security control okay well thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it um, if you've learned something please like the video um, and share it for other people to view uh, so they can uh, get to understand on how to use uh, a web scraper um, and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I will catch you in the next one